Today I'm going to show you how to customize the date picker component from the set and UI. By default, it's going to be look like this. As you can see, we can basically go next month as you can see here and go the previous month for example. But the problem is if I want to go to specific years, for example, I want to go to 1995. As you can see, if I want to go to 1995, I should click this left button here a thousand million times after I go to that years. So that's why we need to customize this date picker to have basically user better experience. So the final project is going to be look like this. As you can see, this is the final date picker that we are going to customize. Basically, we can change the month to whatever we want and we can also change the year to whatever we want, right? It's more better user experience. So let's generate Next.js application. I'm going to give a name custom date picker. Hit enter, TypeScript yes, ESLint yes, Tailwind CSS yes, source directory no, app router yes, turbo pack yes, import alias just say no. After the installation done, let's cd into the custom date picker. And from here, I'm going to open that inside Visual Studio Code. Now let's open the page.tsx and I just want to remove all this main and also the footer inside this div right here. So let's remove all of that, put heading one, just say hello world. Save and let's try to open terminal. Let's say npm run dev to run the localhost 3000. Let's open that on the browser. Now we should see just hello world on the browser. So now let's install the setcn. Let's go to setcn documentation. And we are going to use this command right here. I'm going to copy that, go back to terminal, and let's just paste that right here. Hit enter. Style, I'm going to use New York. Neutral, CSS variable, yes. As you can see, we get this error. There's because React 19 is just not yet compatible with this package right here. So we need to install that manually and we need to add dash dash force flag for that installation. So let's paste that right here. And after the npm or maybe at the last thing here i'm going to say dash dash force just to make sure we don't have any error showing up right here cool it's clean so now we need to basically create the utils file because if we get that error the utils file is not generated automatically so first let's create a lib folder and go back to the session documentation go to manual and then here what we are going to do let's copy all of this create the utils.ts file inside the lib just paste it right here and we good to go so now let's try to install a calendar so let's go back to documentation and search for the date picker and right here as you can see to install the date picker we need to install these two components popover and calendar so let's go to popover and i'm going to open another tab and here that we are going to install that let's go back to terminal and here we can say npx test test force to just make sure we don't get any error and hit enter after the installation done let's go back here and next we need to install the calendar so let's open that another tab again let's copy this command use npm and make sure we also add a test test force flag right here just to make sure we don't get any error if you go to installation and Next.js, and as you can see on the top right here, if you are using Next.js 5T, see the 5T plus React 19 guide. So let's click on that. And you will see right here that the error that we have is just a normal. So don't really worry about that. And to install the component, as you can see, we need to add this dash dash force or dash dash legacy peer adapts. So it will fix that issue or the solution too. We need to downgrade the React to React 19 or basically you can just read all of this right here. But don't worry, Satyan will fix that. As you can see here, this is just already in progress. So just wait for that until Satyan fix all of that problem. Great, everything is set up correctly. So now let's run npm run dev and don't forget to go back to the date picker and we are going to basically copy all of this usage right here. Copy that, go back to components and then inside the component UI, let's create another file called a date picker and basically paste all the content right here. And as you can see, there's no error. Great. Let's go back to page and I'm going to render that date picker right here. Just make sure we go back here and change the component name to just date picker. 
let's remove the demo and let's go back to the browser and see what we have as you can see we have this input right here we can click on that and as you can see this is default date picker look like from the set cn and yep we are going to customize that before that i want to just remove the align items let me go see item center i mean let's remove that and just make sure the date is going to be moved to the top great and also as as you can see if i click that the width of this input is a little bit more bigger than the pop over right here the content so let's go back to the date picker and i just want to change this width into for example maybe 250 pixel let's save and yep it's great so now let's create variable called months we can do cons months set equals to this array of string right here as you can see we have january february until december and then next i'm going to create variable called year set equals to i'm going to use array.form right here array.form to generate array so let me set length into for example 10 and then here i'm going to return let's grab the index first and i'm going to return for example 2 plus 1 so here let's console log year so you can see what we have on the console let me refresh and then see as you can see here we have um start from three three um something wrong i think two plus index not one let's do that and as you can see we have two until 11. so basically we have the length of the array is 10. this is a uh, set right here right the length should be 10 and then the value is going to be 2 plus the index index is going to be start from 0 so we know 2 plus 0 is 2 2 plus 1 3 and etc you get the idea great so now we need to create the props to handle the start years and end years so basically in this date picker i want to be able to send the start year and also end year on this component and that will be uh, optional so we can do interface I'm going to call this date picker props the prop of this date picker is just star year and end year and this is basically optional and the value it should be a number so now we can grab that right here the star year and also the end year the get year is basically a function come from the date fns and now basically we can get the year from the date now which is 2024 and we decrement that by a hundred this is basically the default value for the start year and for the end year also we get the get year from the date now which is 2024 we adding increment here to 100 that means for the end year the default value is going to be 2124 all right because as you can see here 2024 plus 100 it should be yep 2124 great so now uh, we are going to put these props in here so we can say date picker props right here just like that great so now let's go back down here and length that we need is basically n year n year decrement by star year and i'm going to adding one here to make sure the n year is going to be on that range right and here for the start i'm going to say star year like that so let's try to see on the console what we have so as you can see it's starting for 1924 until as you can see here 2020 2124 let's use select component from the set cn ui right here i'm going to search for select and let's install it we're going to use this command npm go back to terminal and then here i'm going to just make sure we adding a dash dash force on the front of the npx to make sure we don't get any error great let's run npm run dev and then close the terminal let's go back to the set cn and see how we can use the select so here i just want to copy that go back to the date picker and as you can see i'm going to paste that on this popover content right here so basically i'm going to put um, div in here so let's say div and then paste that the select right here i just want to import that from the select select trigger uh, select value select item select content and just save so now let's take a look what we have on the browser 
as you can see if i click as you can see we have theme right here like a dark and theme like dark and system that's because as you can see the value right here so in here we are going to map through the months basically so for the placeholder i'm going to change that to oh, let's do month and for the select content right here i want to basically remove all of this and we are going to map through the month so we can do month dot map we grab the individual month right in here i just want to return say select item like that and then here let's render the month we can do month like that and also the value it should be for the month like that and the key of course we are going to set that to month as well all right we rendered that right here of course if i go back and see as you can see we get all the value right here january until december Great. so on the right side here i'm going to put the years so let's go back and then i'm going to copy this select right here one more time down here just like that and now we have to month right let's remove this month to year and now i want to wrap this to select with display flex for example here so i can say class name to flex and justify to between to make sure the month is going to be on the left and the here it should be on the right side all right great let's change the width of the select trigger so let's go back here select trigger width i'm going to set that to maybe 110 pixel all right it's more better and then i'm going to add padding inside this div right here let's do two which is 0 0.5 ram all right as you can see it's more better for the month great for the year of course we need to put the year value in this content select content right here so we need to grab the years and then let's render year and then for the key of course year value year and also the label also years right here but as you can see we get this error here that's because a value it should be a string so we can fix that by say year dot to string just like that it will fix that error great let's go back and as you can see if i go to years and great we get all of the value right here nice but as you can see here if i change the month to for example may the calendar here is not changed if i change the years to 1927 as you can see the calendar is not changed because we not handle the on value change on the select so let's handle that let's go back to the mount select which is uh, on the top right here and here i'm going to set the on value change into handle change i'm going to set that to handle mount change so let's create a function on the top i'm going to create that function in here so let's do cons handle mount change set equals to error function and this function is like a mount as a value here so this is going to be a string and then uh let me create a variable called new date set equals to so basically i'm going to use set mount basically a function come from the date fns this is will set the mount of the specific date so here i'm going to put the date come from the state right here right and then i'm going to change that month on this date so i'm gonna put that in here so i'm gonna say month it's gonna become from the array right here and i'm gonna get that for the specific id that we grabbed that from the props right here so we can say dot index of let's send the month right here just like that as you can see here we get this uh typescript error that's because now on the state here all right on this state date is basically an undefined so by default i want to set the date into this basically the date now so we can say new date just like that so hopefully now the error is should be gone great so now we can set the date into new date just like that so basically we change the date right here into the specific month great so let's go back here on the select i'm going to set the value into the value is going to become from the months which is the the list of the array of the months and i'm going to get the specific index in here so i'm going to use a get 
month from the date FNS. And I'm going to put the date right here. All right. So now let's take a look. I'm going to change the month into, for example, January. And as you can see, it's not changed, but the input field here is changed. That means it works, but on the calendar, it not works. So let's go back to the calendar here. And basically we need to specify the month set equals to the date, right? That come from the state basically on the top right here. Let me tell you right here, right? So now let's try to change that to February. As you can see, it's changed. Great. Uh, uh, let's say May is changed. Nice. So now let's handle the year. Let's go back here. And I think this really, really similar. So we can just copy this value here. Go back to years, which is right here. And paste that right here. And of course, the function, I'm going to change that to handle year change. So let's create that function on the top right here. Cons handle year change set equals to arrow function. For now, let's say empty. And let's go back down here again. And for the value, I'm going to get the year. So let's just remove all of this. And we can use function from the date FNS, which is get year. And then I'm going to put the date. And also, let's change that to string. Because as you can see here, the value is basically string, right? So we need to make sure the value here is also should be string. Nice. So let's go back to the function. Of course, in here, we can get the years as a string. We can create a variable called new date, set equals to set year. Basically, I'm going to set the year of this date right here in two. And because the year is basically a string, we need to make sure it's going to be a number right now. So we can use parse integer. So we can say parse integer like that and put the year just like that. And down here, we can say set the date into this new date like that so let's go back to the browser and see how it's look so now i'm gonna change that the year into 2050 and as you can see it works i i can change the month i can change the uh, years here 95t and it works great as you can see on this calendar component we get the error on this on select that's because now set date cannot be undefined so let's create another function to do that. I'm going to create a function called handle select. And on the top right here, let's create that cons handle select set equals to arrow function. And this function is like a selected date. So let's do selected date. The selected date should be have type date or undefined like that. And here we are going to make sure that we need to run the set date right here, right? If the selected date is not undefined just like that so here of course we need to send the selected date and as you can see now there's no error great but as you can see if i go back in here and uh trying to for example click this button here left and right it's not work for now right so to fix that problem on this calendar we need to set the on mount change into the set date which is the function on this uh, state right here right just send that as a set uh on mount change and then now as you can see if i click that it works great all right so if i refresh and let's try to select uh 90 95 for example and i can change the month to whatever i want and also the date to whatever i want so hopefully you learned something new from this video. And if you want to get this code, I'm going to put link on the description. So thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.